Hello, this is Victoria Wynn. I want to introduce something super special. This is a new Lux Water Effects, and it has a really, really beautiful, unique effect. Um, it is perfect if you love the idea of creating opals or art that might look like abalone shell, anything that has a beautiful iridescence. And right here, looks so unassuming, probably can't even see what it's going to do because there's you're not seeing a whole bunch of color yet. So it is just a touch thicker, and that's because, could you use it as a top coat? Yes, is that my goal for what I am creating? Um, no. I'm going to be embellishing with it. So here we go. I'm just adding to a geode. This is an existing geode piece. I actually really love, but just watch it get even more amazing when I add the new water effects. I'll show you close up in just a second and we get some good angles. So right off the bat, let me show you what it did. Whoa, oh no. I almost just like had it all over my, uh, my sweater. You guys know my rules, no editing. It's cause you know, hello, like this is real. <laughs> this is how it goes in an artist's life. Okay, so the water effects will dry clear. And can you see what, what it does? It just lights up and creates like a bluish purple. Again, very similar to something you might see in um, an opal or an abalone. And I'm tilting it not, not really intentionally because I just want to show you. So let me fix my, my little mess here. But it's actually going to get even more bold when it dries because we're losing some of that, that shock factor just because um, the water effects is a little cloudy at first. But... Even it dries so fast though that like as I paint, um, some of this will probably be close to drying. So let's do this a little bit more. And I'm gonna have a really, really big goal in life right now, which is not to drop the phone again in the painting. All right, here we go. So I'm just creating some additional striping And I'll give you a nice close up. Let's do a little more right here on this blue. And show you the magic. That is this new color. Now we have a hard enough time keeping Lux water effects in stock. So this is gonna be a very, very limited edition color, but still totally worth launching because even if only 50 of you can use this in your art, look at that, oh, it's so beautiful. It also is like the, um, and I'll share a little sneaky trick. It's like the phosphorescent, um, beautiful plankton that you see in all those pictures where they like light up on the seashore of a beach. Um, so I'm creating a painting, a commission, and that is what they asked for. Um, what, they didn't want a cheesy, like, glow-in-the-dark um, piece of art, though. 
So this is the perfect solution and why I even innovated it because I'm going to run these lines of the water effects. Look at it right here and right here um, along the seashore. And it's gonna look like it's lit up like that um, phosphorescent plankton. So over here, it's still a little cloudy because it's still drying, but it's a way to not have like this cheesy, bright green glow in the dark look, but create some beautiful natural elements such as abalone, opals, labradorite, and the phosphorent, um, phosphorescent plankton along the beach. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So sneaky tricks with this new color. And there you have it. It's simple as that. There's no stirring or mixing needed. I just, I put some in a cup because I wasn't quite sure how much I wanted to use, but you could pour it right out of the bottle and uh, but for a wider stripe then just put some in a cup or just take the t lid of the bottle off and pour straight out of the bottle but there's no prep work basically it shows up at your doorstep and you start playing and making the most beautiful natural incredible looking fine art this is Victoria Wynn of WynnModernArt.com. Totally having a great time with you as I show you. Like, look how it's just lighting up. The more it dries, the more you're going to see that lit up effect. And you can also, for those of you that are resin artists, you can add... Um, a resin top coat and you will not lose that beautiful you know opalescent abalone effect so don't you worry you will still see it and it will still light up without the cheesy glow-in-the-dark look because that is not what we're going for okay i love you guys this is victoria win winmodernart.com